Greetings, everybody. Nikki Brown here. Um, so, I'm using this opportunity to talk about expectations. So, I ordered this yoga mat. Well, on, I ordered it from Amazon. You know, a lot of the things from off of Amazon come from China. So, even if... I'm not going to get into that part. Anyway, a lot of the things we order from Amazon do come from China. Um, they may be stored in a warehouse here, but typically they've been made in China, right? So <clears throat> this was described as a yoga mat. But when you read the description, it does say that it's made out of polyester. And I'm familiar with fabrics, so it's exactly what I was expecting. Um, then I read the reviews after I ordered it, and a lot of people say, oh, this is not a yoga mat. Um, it's too thin, da 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 da. But again, I it was exactly what I expected. Um, and my idea was to put some cardboard underneath it or another yoga mat. I haven't gotten another yoga mat yet. So, um, like I said, I, my original idea was to maybe just put some cardboard underneath it. Um, but I think I do need another yoga mat to go underneath it if I want to use it as a yoga mat. Um, because again, my idea was to put a regular yoga mat under it and then put this on top so that um, you can see all of the, um, the chakra symbols, right? And the colors, because I love the colors. So you can see your ultraviolet at the top. But then when I was reading the reviews as well, I saw that a lot of people were using it as a tapestry or wall hanging. And I was like, oh, I wonder how that would look as a backdrop. I've really been enjoying my smoothie bowl, so I'm going to have a little taste while I'm talking. <laughs> oh. It's exactly what I was expecting, and I like it. And I do like it as a backdrop for me to just talk. And so that makes me want to talk about expectations. Sometimes we don't read the fine print. <laughs> and we just take what people say for face value. And we trust that what they're saying is accurate. Um, so I'm thinking that since the description said it was a yoga mat, people automatically expected to receive like a foamy mat. Um, but again, I read the description before I ordered it and it did describe it as polyester. Polyester is not foam. <laughs> it's nowhere near a foam yoga mat. Um, and so again, I got what I expected, but some people were disappointed and so they gave a bad review because their expectation was a yoga mat. But when you order something from Amazon or when you connect with a new person, right? Sometimes we have expectations. And then when those people don't meet our expectations, we get disappointed. But if you don't expect anything, you can't be disappointed. My goal was more so the rich colors. These are beautiful colors. And again, it has the shop, chakra symbols on it. Now, some people, um, when they ordered theirs, like say the, the top part was cut off. Let me tilt this up so you can see it. So there were some people who had like, say extra stitching, like say, it was a white stitch going all the way across. Um, again, these things were made in China. Maybe not. And this is not to pick on. This is not a diss or anything. But maybe they didn't take the time to properly sew it. So they left a stitch. It could have been machine sewn. Um, whoever inspected it, if they even had inspectors at all, didn't check the quality. Um... Perhaps they have since made those changes since they did get a lot of complaints. But then some people like say the violet part was cut off. Um, so you couldn't see the entire symbol. Um, but mine is, is lovely. Um, I'm grateful. It was only $10. 
and you, you know even if you bought a regular yoga mat for ten dollars you would expect like a two millimeter yoga mat like i wouldn't expect to purchase a six millimeter yoga mat for ten dollars if i did i would be thankful <laughs> but then i like fancy things i like color so it would probably be a plain yoga mat if it was a six millimeter yoga mat for ten dollars it wouldn't be anything fancy it would be some you know dull color that's pretty uninteresting which is fine because the purpose is just to center yourself um, and practice mindfulness or whatever stretches exercises um, you need or want to utilize the mat for um, but sometimes we have unrealistic expectations and we get disappointed and we take it out on the other person when that other person may have made it clear in the fine print. <laughs> but we just weren't paying any attention because we had our own perception in our mind of what we wanted and what we were expecting. So I just kind of wanted to come on and share that and share my, my bowl. This is again, um, coconut, banana, and a little bit of peach. A spoonful of almond butter, some fresh bananas on top, and some walnuts. It's all a matter about being realistic. And what do you really want? And are you taking the time to read the fine print? Well, when somebody shows you who they are, are you ignoring the red flags and the non-negotiables? Because you have certain expectations or you want to see them the way that you want to see them because you want to get whatever you want out of the situation. Sometimes we have to be realistic and stop lying to ourselves. And this is not to go against anyone who ordered this mat and didn't read the description. Um, this is about life in general. What are your expectations and are they realistic? Love y'all. Later.